Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to part two of this video. If you have not watched the previous video, it is the process of me shampooing, conditioning, deep conditioning my hair and just making my scalp feel wonderful. And this is the part where I'm going to style my hair. My hair has had time to dry. So I'm going to be using, since I use the Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner, the Strengthen and Restore, I'm going to be adding my melanin just to put a couple of ponytails up. And these are going to be some twist outs that I'm going to use, be wearing over the weekend. And I know, I know, it does not look like much to do this. But when I split the Red Sea on this river, honey, there's a lot of hair. A lot of hair. So I'm going to take that much, rub it together. Should have went on and pinned it up. And I am going to do just that. And when I do my twist braid outs, I never really pay attention to the part, the parting, because I don't like to have to hide the parting, okay? You just want to make sure that you focus getting the melanin in. You want to make sure that you brush that melanin in, get it on every strand, okay? get it on every strand and for me I'm just going to twist now the melanin elongating cream is very good for twist braid outs I actually used it once in a wash and go as the moisturizer and it actually worked good in that as well so I'm going to add a little bit more to this because I did not get the tips. This is the first part that I started on. And when you see those curls like that, that means it made it all the way in to the root, to, from the root to the tip. And that's when I start twisting. And I'm not putting a certain amount of twists on my head. This is just how it ends up. As long as it has that good shine and stuff to it, I, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. And I get that. And I, with that leave-in conditioner, I had enough moisture and shine. So I'm pretty happy right now. So, I'm going to show you guys this technique one more time. And this is just me working in the melanin, leave-in conditions already in my hair, already dried. And when it's at an edge like this, I usually braid, brush up to make sure everything's in there. I look for those curls to make sure that the product has made it all the way to the tip. Alright guys, I have completely finished twisting my hair. I even forgot what I was doing and put a plait right there. But it's okay. It's okay. It's all going to turn out pretty. I used the melanin only since I already had the leave-in conditioner in here. So we're going to see how the melanin does by itself. Okay? So basically, just twist, use generously. I put enough in there to do what I needed to do, and that's just to get a twist out. And I will get back with you guys for the takedown. Get some rest. The next part of this video is not going to start for one, two, now. Just like that, and I'm back. <laughs> Twist. 
twirl, twirl, and twirl. I'm going to say this. And then I'm not going to say anything else about this, okay? These two together do not make a killer combo. No. I know the direction says use with your favorite leave-in conditioner. This is good all by itself with a styler. This is good all by itself with another styler that has some oil in it. Not together. Because I put this in my hair, remember? And I put this on at the end and I even put a little of the intensive hydration leave-in milk and this morning when I woke up the definition is there the shine is there but it was dry it's dry and I don't like dry like juicy I liked it when it went up together and it was juicy but when I woke up it was dry. It was dry. Now, I have used this with other stylers and gotten a great result. And I have used this with other things because I this is a leave-in conditioner. Not together. As for me, in my opinion, I'm not blaming either product. I'm just saying, as for me in my house, these two don't go together. I will be trying it again, but I will be putting, like, another, I don't have anything in here with me, like a Jane Carter. Or... I'm just using these names like I've met these people. <laughs> like a Jane Carter, maybe. Or something, some other twisting butter. You know, another twisting butter. <sighs> yeah. But, I mean, either it, I still look good. I mean, I look good. I'm on my way to an appointment right now. I mean, I still... I, I like it. I just don't like the way it feels. You know, I like that snapback. When I take my cap off in the morning, I always do a... And then it could have been because for the first time, my sections were actually bigger than what they normally be. Yeah, that could have played a factor in it too. Yeah. Because I usually do everything in small sections. I don't know. Only thing I know is I'm going to retry it. But I'm going to add something with it. But first, before I add something with it, I'm going to retry it with smaller sections. You know what I'm saying? Your family? Your family knocking? Well, let me in. Okay. So. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try it again. No time soon, though. Look at that hole. Uh-uh. No holes, no moles. Um, no time soon because I just shampooed my hair. My hair still feels great. Um, I'm going to go through this whole moisturizing thing. And then it'll be perfectly fine once I go through my moisturizing. Which... It's going to be another video. <laughs> Coming out to you guys. How to keep your hair moisturized for three days, four days, max. Okay? So, 
go ahead and subscribe. I think I've already said this in one of my other cuts. But if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Click on the notification bell. Blah, 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 blah. I would love to have you. If you're already one of my subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I love to have you here with me. Um, keep God first in everything you do. This is Real McCoy. Not the Real McCoy. Real McCoy 411. The Real McCoy on another channel though. You can see that below. Real McCoy 411. 43-year-old woman on a natural hair journey. Sharing it all with you. And looking good. I'm good at 43. Mm. You didn't know? I'm in the prime of my life. The prime. Think about it. <laughs> Keep God first everything you do. You ladies. You gentlemen. You whatever you want to be. Free spirits. You have a great day. And know that God loves you. Because no matter what, God's got it. No matter what, God's got it.